on the it sound like a window now it came from upstairs downstairs i literally have chills and it's like 90 degrees out right now and you can see fingerprints on the outside here like right near where that moss ends so right now we have major problems at the farm all right everybody welcome back to another video obviously the previous video we caught the person well didn't really catch the person but we caught the person and where they escaped from where they were hiding at long story short the van has been towed number two we have no idea where this person is really not my problem at this point not to be like an ass about it or anything but just putting it out there like i'm not playing games with this like we bought this property for a reason for us to go and have fun with it it's just a cool property to begin with but Actually, on the, on the previous video, Anna brought up a really good point. She said whoever it was that was there has been there before because they knew how to get the window out and where to hide so no one could find them. Good point. No one should go to the property alone anymore because many things are happening there now. CJ, Chris, and Dylan, stay safe and get those basement stairs fixed ASAP. Well, I gotta agree with you there. I think I might have to bring in um, more than just me and Chris and kind of bracing that thing up to make it a little bit more safe, but Good, good point there, Anna. Thank you very much for that. I'm gonna give my personal opinion on the person that is obviously somewhere on the property, was on the property, could not be on the property anymore. I think this, with the van being towed, I really think that they escaped that night. I think that this house was used for way more. Well, you know, it's been abandoned for over 10 years, so I think the house was used for way more than what we actually think. Was it illegal activities? Was it just a place to hang out and do weird stuff? Might be all of them collectively, but let's go ahead and get into today's video. Here's what we're doing. We got pit bikes behind us. If you've seen these on the channel before, me and Chris, we ride these a lot. I need fair food. What kind of fair food? I need a cinnamon roll from the fair. It's the Delaware I State Fair. They have cinnamon I, rolls? Oh, the best cinnamon rolls you've ever had. Why, why I, have you not told me that? I don't care how bad of a stomach ache I get, we're going. Probably the, the, the only thing worse than driving through Jersey is actually being from Jersey. Okay. I know I got New Jersey fans out there, don't hate me. I just literally do not like that toxic wasteland of a state. Sorry, Dylan. Never have. I'm not from there, good thing. Yeah, I know, you're not from there. Pennsylvania. She's from Pennsylvania. Chris, if you had to choose between oh. drinking a gallon of toxic <laughs> waste or living in the state of New Jersey, what would you pick? Give me a straw. I need a truckload of chickens. Chris, we could have eggs forever. I, I would love that. I would I'm love telling that. you, it would cut down on those grass, the ticks. I don't know if this is a safe idea. Why? Chris choked his chicken a lot. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Next time we do it, I'm gonna rooster when it's my time to shine. So in like two hours? Yeah. Okay. In two hours from now, and then another two hours from those two hours. Where are you gonna be in two hours? I'm not gonna be here. We're gonna drop you off for a quick second. We're gonna take a little ride around the block. Alright, I'm gonna give you all an update. We're here at the fair. We got cinnamon rolls. They got iced coffee. They got lemonade. <sighs> it's a good day. You can call me an asshole, I don't care. I like perfection, that's what we operate at. And I pull in, and what's the first thing that I see? One of my road banners on the fence, on Route 13, the, one of the busiest highways in Delaware, till CJ gets here, and then progress starts. Obviously, I had a little rant. Like, I get in those little spells sometimes, that's my fault. But when you got a lot of pressure on you, and you got, you know, 70 some employees and all this crazy stuff, it's kind of hard to keep everything together and not, yeah, I snap, so whatever, part of it. But right here, behind this door, this is a part that you all have never seen before here at some of the haunted property videos as far as the auction house goes. Behind this door was an old restaurant. And in this old restaurant, they had a very, very, very elderly man who was always in here all the time. He said that when he would pass away, that he was gonna stay here at his favorite restaurant. But with that being said, the clown is back here from those videos that were up in the attic here and all that. So this will be a place when you book on ghostproperties.com, this spot right here, back here I should say, is where you will be able to investigate as well. And 
I'm just gonna say this, we're clearing it out. We're cleaning it out because it's been filled with junk from the 50s and all kinds of stuff for so long. But back here, we've had some really strange stuff happen. As we were cleaning out, we had two of my employees that will no longer go back behind this door. And I can't say that I blame them. And this is also where the clown is at. We've, I've kept him back here for years now. But as you come back through here, you'll see where I wore all of this off. And this was the restaurant. This was the hood. This is where they actually would um, cook right up underneath of this um, big aluminum hood here and obviously takes all the grease and stuff out. And here's the line that you would take your little buffet tray down and all of that. But, so we come back here to the storage and kitchen area. It's where things get a little bit dicey. And it's also one of the projects that we're working on today is, um, is pulling out the haunted clown. Back there is what we kind of nicknamed the hell hole. And going back in the hell hole, that door right here, if you can get that on camera, that door, when it closes, sometimes, for whatever reason, if you're on the other side of that, you cannot get it open. The lock turns, all of that, but it's almost as if somebody's got their foot against the door and you can't open it up. So the hell hole back there, uh, Chris just fired up his EVP on his phone and got some really strange answers. So obviously I know you're all gonna want us to investigate that. So if you want us to, comment below, investigate the hell hole, and we'll know what that means. And if there's enough of that, then we'll go back here, we'll do a full investigation, maybe another whole spend the night thing with me, you and Dylan, and mm -hmm. kind of go from there. So what the hell is that? Babe, is that you? I have a vote. Oh. So what's that over here? It literally sounded like there was a voice back there and that's... I literally been standing right here. All right. This is the box that the clown is going in. It's going to be locked up. Cool, we don't need that thing getting out. Not that it would, but if it did, that'd be even weirder. Sure. Sure. <laughs> whole wall. And, and today, just to make matters like just that much better, did we find the key? No. Still looking for it. And then I had a guy redeem and his tire was off the rim, so I got it back on the rim so I could take it home. And it's been a morning to start, and it's hot. So. Who lost the key? Uh, so we had it, and we moved it over to Wash Bay, and I don't know if it made it to the bucket. Kevin Clean dropped a bunch of keys in the tall grass, we put some alcohol. I've been all through the tall grass, and I can't find it. So I'm gonna go do take number two after I get a sip of water. So, so amazing! Let's just cost CJ Payson another yeah, $115. That's what I was like, they paid to have a key cut, and now we're gonna have to pay to have another one cut in the emergency because we need it for tomorrow. Maybe we can't find it. Good thing you got legs though, so you can push it through. Yeah. You know. How's your Wednesday going? You do like that. All right, you got that side, right? Mm -hmm. All right, oh. I got the hand part. Just don't let Lucky fall. If you let Lucky fall, you're gonna go to hell. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> no, let me put my phone away. I can't see shit. You got our balancing out? Yeah, I got it balanced. Just make sure the bottom don't come off. Okay. Watch your hand, Lucky. It looks like Ronald McDonald's cousin. <laughs> New Jersey resident, heading back to Jersey right here. <laughs> There's water. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, clean up nice. Doesn't mm -hmm. feel like it. Okay. Of course, she's already natural. She tore the road and there's no car coming. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh, funny game. So she runs into her $100,000 truck behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're back here. Next up, we're gonna head to the farm, have a little bit of fun. Show y'all what pit bike tag is truly all about. Alright, everybody. This is called pit bike hot seat slash tag. Chris Baird, right there. The beautiful wife slash girlfriend Chelsea. And um, other than that, yep. Chris, you're gonna you're gonna count up the front of the truck at the yep. front of the Raptor. All right. All right. So Good the problem luck. is, okay. hey, let's just do our area from the truck forward around. Okay. Nothing crazy back far. Okay, that's fair. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Have fun. All right. So the problem that exists here is that I have 30 seconds. 
We got 30 seconds to find a good place to hide. And the problem is, I want to do this. Woo, oh boy. All right, that was fun. I'm gonna find them, I'm gonna tag them though, I promise you that. Got this beautiful 2021 Honda here up one time. Here to where the van was parked. Now this is where the van was parked right here. But what I want to do, I need to be, I need to be able to hide somewhere to where I can see him. Cause I gotta run. If he tags me, I'm, I'm out. Or technically, we have to restart. So like, there's really not a good opportunity to hide anywhere. Ryan pit bikes at the farm. I'm pretty stoked. I love Ryan pit bikes. Pit bike tag is so much fun. I'm supposed to be. Kind this is like the ultimate like stress level right here. I need a turbo. I lack corner speed. <laughs> All right, I'll get that. I'll oh. get that. All right, I'll go count. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm just waiting on Crocodile Dundee to come out of these woods. People, uh, I should see me back here or not. All right, if I know Chris. The problem is I'm not going to be able to get out of here. So if I do see him coming, I'm just going to have to take off. But it's worth it at this point. Barnes. Alright, so that's probably about 30 seconds. That was a tough one. Alright, I know where he's at. I already know it. Alright, I see him now. How do I know it? Because I know Chris. Come on out, you sneaky. To do. I'm being honest with you. Oh wow, he's not in there. I'm worried he's gonna come from back behind the house over there, and I'm not gonna see him. Hard to see. Oh boy. An even dumber spot to go to. Hey buddy, how's it going? <laughs> oh no you didn't! Oh no! Oh yep! Oh! I think I'm gonna go that way. But he knows. Say, now you wait. You turned off. Where is he at? Where is he at? I'm waiting. I hear him. He's gonna turn his off too. <laughs> Come here, mother! 
Sneak here. I think I get it. Oh gosh. Oh no. But dude, I'm thirsty. Oh gosh. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. They're gonna overheat. like that. That's dirty. That's dirty. <laughs> oh gosh. Y'all, if you saw trying already, to buy stuff on Marketplace. I Leave a comment. Because I need to get my eyes checked, apparently. I know for a fact he's not in the corn. He cannot do that. He's still looking. Not in the trailer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he oh, knows something's now. up. Chris knows something's up. He knows something's up. Oh, no, he's going to look in the thing. Oh, shit, he's going to look in the thing. Where is he? Oh, boy. Is he in the house? That's where the guy was in the house. Uh oh. Is 
Does he know where I'm at? <laughs> Guys, I'm, I lost this round. I think I lost this round. I have no clue. He's got to be in the house. I'm going in there, okay? Is he on the roof? What the fuck? Yeah, where is he? There's no way he's in the shed. There's snakes in there. I'm about to ride in this double check. See this bright red dirt bike. Am I wrong? It could be down where I was, I guess. There's no way he's here. What the hell? this right now there's no way oh poor chris <laughs> sorry that wasn't talking much y'all but that shit was funny as hell oh my gosh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh there ain't no way what there ain't no way you were on the property oh i was you were in the house weren't you no i, I was somewhere around there but i can't no tell you my way. hot spot no hey, everybody i think that was a pretty uh intense and successful uh what we call pit bike hide and seek pit bike tag whatever it is but uh look at the man chris baird right there look at the man let's get you some shots come on man so what we've been doing we just kind of been messing around the property a little bit honestly even in the daytime it literally feels like you're being watched especially from the windows back there it's just i don't know i don't know but um what we've been doing here in the past couple of minutes has been probably a little bit more than fun. So this jump right here, or this mounded dirt, we just kind of been like wallering it over, just like Chris is doing right there. Just kind of been working it in. So 
So it's so hot out here. It, right now it's 97 degrees and it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, yeah, so basically um, in a nutshell, the house and everything that we've got going on, we're, we've got more cameras. So if anybody's in that house now, or knows a way to sneak in, it's impossible, absolutely impossible for them to get by us now. Let's have a word with Chels. All right, Chels, what do we think? About what? How was uh, watching your first pit bike hide and seek slash tag race? It was good. Different, right? Yeah. The fact that no one broke a bone is better. True that. I know a lot of you have been asking about, uh, CJ, what about the dock? What about the dock? What about the dock? What about the dock? Um, <laughs> the progress on the dock is gonna have to wait because we we can't even see it right now. That's that's a a major issue. So there's the update on the dock. Ground penetrating radar. Um, we kind of got screwed on that deal, honestly, with the ground penetrating radar. Contacted this guy. He's like, yeah, I'll come out. I'll do it. Blah 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 blah. That way you all don't have to go through like training camp and all this kind of stuff. And then the guy flakes on us won't even message us back so what's that about don't know don't really care i guess but um now we're gonna have to rent ground penetrating radar right now chris is in the process of uh basically learning how to um he's learning how to read the anomalies underground because um he'll be out here a lot again this is kind of chris's i, I kind of gave this just to chris as like a little project like everything around here is like his responsibility the cleanup uh, the maintenance of everything and he's really taking charge with all of that and I'm super proud of him and if you have not already go to Chris's link down in the description but um, trying to decide we gotta um, we gotta decide what we're gonna do with this little building over here I'll take you all over here to it so I'm talking about this one right here it's actually full and I mean full of corn inside of there and there is nasty stuff growing and it, it's I didn't realize how nasty corn could get, but we do now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. Might sell it at one of my equipment auctions if it's worth anything. Um, creepy old trailer. Leaving that there for sure. Not sure what we're gonna do with it, but it looks cool nonetheless. And then obviously, as you all know, this uh, trail system back here that Chris has kind of started to clean up. That there's gonna be an interesting one. We're really excited to go back there this winter time and explore around and see what's the offer back there as you can see there's different structures and all that but um yeah and as most of you know i like to do things a little unconventional right well well that being said we uh well, let's say we chris and i the other day we actually i've been scrolling facebook marketplace for like a month now i'm just trying to look for like something cool to buy and anyway right here in this trailer behind me is something really neat and exciting i'm gonna show you all this actually i might not show you all. i might might blur it out i don't know anyway maybe you saw it maybe you didn't i don't know when i edit this video i'll decide but that's going to be in an upcoming video and i'm really excited about that and uh yeah somebody's gonna have the chance to ride around and go ghost hunting in that thing with me so closer to the water is some ice cold beer stopping ground here roots run a little deeper yeah cause we were raised on hallelujahs and amens and life is what you make it so right, everybody out here at my range and kind of just gonna shoot a couple of my guns today that are a little bit fun yeah it's a little slower down here low around here Alright, so you all have, uh, maybe, I don't know if uh, I added this in a previous video or not. It's kind of hard because there's like, there's been so much going on here at the farm. I just ran into town real quick to grab me a quick bite to eat, but uh, pulling in here at the front of the driveway, people have been um, putting, I don't know who exactly, but they've been putting sticks in it as if they want you to run it over. Weird. So 
So right now, we have major problems at the farm that have gotta be fixed ASAP. So the first one I'm gonna let y'all know about. That's a car stopped on the bridge. Sounds like they're in the driveway. All right, so I don't know if they're in the driveway or not. It doesn't sound like it, but I'll get some notifications here in a minute. But um, just talking about some of the major problems that we're running into right now here at the farm. Um, number one, the roof. I've been talking about this for probably about a month and a half, two months now. But we're we're here at the point now where like if, if we don't fix it now, there it's gonna be structural damage way past beyond repair. Um, so as you could may or may not see that hole right up there on the top of the, right below the roof, but that there is where those wood bees, they get into and they will absolutely destroy the wood. There's also another spot over here on that corner and on the edge of the house and up there, the roof. Obviously you see the tarp up there. We're running in some big stuff. So this here's a metal roof. That thing will last for probably another 15, 20 years. Um, grass obviously needs to be cut. A lot of different things going on, but um, I'm here to finally repair and put another lock on the very front door because that has been busted through by me, so whatever. I'm losing my mind right now and I, is this recording? Thank God. Could have been my imagination. I'm gonna have to play this clip back. But I'm pretty sure I heard knocks on the, it sounded like a window. Now it came from upstairs, downstairs. I literally have chills and it's like 90 degrees out right now. You ever, you guys ever nervous to just go in a place during the daytime, broad daylight, you know, no big deal or anything? I am. I'm very nervous. Okay, something moved over there and this thing just fell out. Half tempted to call John that lives down the street and be like, hey man, can you come down here and just like sit outside for a few? Mm. All right. All right, so I'm gonna replace the lock on this door yet again. And uh, we're gonna also turn a spirit talker on. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna see exactly what or who wants to communicate here with us. So I'm gonna put this right here on the tripod. I'm gonna get to work. Jake Spirit's here with me right now. Pretty sure you probably know who I am by now, but in the event that you don't, my name is CJ, and I'm wondering what your name is. 
or if there's anybody in particular that wants to speak with me, you're more than welcome to. Is there anything you want to say to me? Can you say anything and, and prove to me that you're you're here? Emotional. Okay, is it emotional that I'm here or is it emotional whatever you went through? <clears throat> uh oh, that ain't good. Luckily I don't get emotional about things like that. What do you want to tell me? Ow! Oh! Oh man, that pump right. Port? Are you talking about the portal downstairs? In the basement? That'll bleed out, but it'll be alright. Are you so you're, I'm assuming you're talking about the portal in the basement. Am I correct? If so, there's probably been a lot of emotional stuff that's going on down there. Is there anything uh, in particular that you want to tell me? People hear my voice. Okay. Could you tell me where about inside of this beautiful establishment right here that you, uh, you talk to people so they can hear your voice? Can you tell me that? Sorry about my tools if they're a little noisy. Can you tell me something else? Could you maybe tell me what happens when humans are not here? Do you like when humans are here or no? Is that your name, Mick? Dominant. Dominant. Okay, are you saying that Mick is dominant? Is that the, uh, is that who we have to be worried about here? Doesn't sound to me like Mick is very nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to beat that out because that, that was not very nice. Jeff. Jeff, okay. Can you tell me who Jeff is? It would be nice to know who Jeff may or may not be. I've got that name here before. Are you Jeff or are you talking about Jeff? Tell me more. I want to know what happens here when humans are not here. Can you tell me that? I'm very interested to know. Fish. Fish. You go fishing when humans aren't here. Okay. All right, I'll take it, whatever. I can only believe whatever you're telling me because that's all I really know. You happen to know what I, uh... You happen to... Are you, are you going to be friendly to me or are you going to be very, uh, unfriendly? Nervous. So, I make you nervous, huh? That's not necessarily a good thing. I don't want you to be nervous around me. Daughter. 
Are you the daughter? Is that what you're saying? So if, uh... Was that you? Where did that noise come from? Speak. Okay. That was weird. Right before that, you could hear that clear. Clear as day. All right, I get it. You want to speak? It's fine with me. You go ahead and speak then. Where exactly are you inside of this house? Cause that was a very loud noise and I'm not particularly sure what room it was. If you tell me what room I'll go. Are you in the basement? Living room, kitchen, random bedroom one, two or three or four. You were friendly when I was inside of here. What happened? Joyce. Okay, but well, Joyce doesn't tell me anything. If that was Joyce making the noise, that's good for Joyce, okay? But I'm. I'm trying to do stuff outside here. I kind of need some cooperation slightly on your part to let me know what room that came from. But instead, now, now we're back to square one. Not trying to be mean, just trying to have a conversation with you and let you know that. So I wanted to bring everyone up to speed. Uh, ghostproperties.com, again, go to that website. If you want to investigate this place or any of my other haunted spots that I own, please feel free to go do that right now. I'm gonna give you all a recap really quick. I'm gonna do a paranormal investigation in here tonight. With that being said, Teo, my, one of my construction guys, he's gonna come here gonna quote the roof. He's also going to quote all of the, uh, I guess they call it fascia or the faucet basically around the house and gonna repair that. We're gonna try to preserve this structure as much as we can. I'm gonna have him look at the other dilapidated building over here that needs more help than, you know, two ways to Sunday. Looks like everything has hit this building except for the lottery. So behind me here, this is also a shed in which I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it. But this is where you all come into play. You all are as just as big of a part of this farm as I am. Because at the end of the day, we all are getting some form of enjoyment. Whether it's the shooting range, whether it's the ghost hunting, whether it's the pit bikes, tag, and all that fun stuff. Exploring in through the woods, there's so much to offer. But what I really want to get my point across is, I need you all to comment below right now, whether or not I leave that halfway dilapidated structure back there. It is safe enough to go inside of, but it's not structurally sound enough to keep weatherproof thing or things that need to be weatherproof uh, out of the weather and out of the elements. So comment below if you think we should preserve that. Maybe we put some money into that. If you want a piece of this farm, 
you're gonna be able to own some dirt from the farm. Duty. You gotta go film. Right. <laughs> See you, man. All right, so that's my construction guy, Teo, there. Uh, switched out the hat. He's gonna get some stuff fixed up. Uh, he actually looked at the basement stairs, and one thing that I want to show you all before I take you into the basement, I don't know, I'd have to look at the last video, but we got a big problem again. That window right there has been tried to be opened at some point and you can see fingerprints on the outside here like right near where that moss ends like right along through there you can see that fingerprint or like that big handprint i should say so uh long story short we got to address that problem i got to go down the stairs in the basement and we got to get that all fixed up but um he was talking about my stairs and they're so dry rotted he's actually surprised that it's not broken completely Somebody's coming down the driveway. They're either about to come down the driveway or they're on the bridge. They're on the bridge. You can hear their vehicle. Alright. They stopped the engine. I wonder if this is the same people that were fighting the other night. Teo and I both cleared the whole house out, but that was weird. Let me get my, uh, let me get my protection here. So Teo is, he's gonna fix this door, put a brand new door on there. Can get our window fixed up here. And he's also going to completely redo the stairs 110%, top to bottom. Ah, <sighs> yeah. So after getting hit with a lot of uh, Bad news, <laughs> as far as cost goes and all that. Um, a roofer's gonna come out, check out that roof that Teo knows. And uh, then we have the, uh, the hope that hopefully, knock on wood, some of the uh, damage to the actual board underneath the shingles isn't damaged too much because if it is, that's gonna be real costly. Not too terribly much, but more labor intensive but here's what we're really concerned about, and it's this right here. That is getting eaten alive. And that there, my friends, is the beginning of structural damage. Something that we uh, don't want whatsoever, but we gotta deal with it now. So 
a lot of a lot of moving parts going on right now he's also going to fix the dock that's one thing but also tomorrow just kind of updating you as we kind of go on here tomorrow i'm going to go look at a new uh skid steer not new skid steer but new to me skid steer bring that here to the property and uh yeah we got a lot going on folks so without further ado i guess i just wait till it gets dark <laughs> 